We took a look at a duplex, but my man Kevin liked the neighbor's property even better. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and folks, if you are new to Holton Wise TV, this is the show where we work for you, right? You hire us, uh, and we go out there, we find properties based on your wants, your needs, your goals. You could even send us properties that you think uh, would make interesting acquisitions, and I will break them down for you. I'll break the numbers down. I'll break uh, risk factors. I'll give you my opinion on the property, and it's totally unbiased. You have the ability um, to have me and my team represent you as your buyer's agent in the sale, and we could also represent you as your contractor and your property manager post-sale. We can even insure your property, and we can hook you up with a title company to make sure you get clear title make sure the whole transaction goes smooth this is an a la carte service we have all these things available to you but you don't have to take them and uh what i'm doing right now i'm working with a guy named kevin young cat new investors trying to build a hundred unit portfolio over the next 10 years and uh, i had sent him a duplex uh, that I liked. Well, I sent him two properties, actually. Well, one property he sent me, okay? He sent me this property, and for several reasons, I didn't like it. Kevin, I thought that that one was too risky for you. You agreed. I also sent you a duplex. You were pretty, pretty, pretty interested in it, but you sent this to me a couple days after the property I sent to you, uh, after I sent it to you, right, the, the neighboring property went up for sale, and you sent it to me. You and I talked literally yesterday. Yesterday was Father's Day, and you're like, yo, dude, What's up with the neighbor's house? It might be better. Uh, so I said, you know, give, give me a day or two and l uh, let me see what I have for you, right? So here we are Monday morning, the day after our conversation. And this is the neighboring property, right? 3167 West 92nd Street, Cleveland, Ohio, listed four days. It's been on the market for four days as of today, Monday, $49,000. Now, Great investment. This is what the listing agent said. They are an agent out of Keller Williams. Great investment or live in two family property. Vinyl sided double. Unit one has three beds, one bath with dining room, living room, and kitchen. Unit two has three beds, one full bath, large eating kitchen and living room, full basement, furnaces for both units less than three years old. Downstairs hot water tank is around two years old. Upstairs hot water tank is around five years old. Roof is around four years old. All right, and it's already got tenants in there, both under market rent, three beds, one bath, both paying five thirty-seven. As for our photos, we got a couple, not many, right? Just a little bit on the outside, right? Now, the neighboring property <clears throat> I uh, showed you, right? It was a little rough for uh, for wear, and dude, I mean, this one's gonna be the same, right? I mean. You got the random pool pool ladder right there, but uh, I don't see a pool. <laughs> but if we did have a pool, that would actually be worse, right? Because you, the landlord, you don't want to have a pool. Uh, number one, you're going to have increased water bills beyond belief. Number two, hella liability, and your insurance provider is not going to like that. Now, uh, here's the thing, though, dude. Uh, you were hoping we can try to put in an offer at 40k. Uh, cause that was my plan. My plan for the, the neighboring property is to put in an offer at 40 K. Hopefully we can close at about 44. You're like, Hey man, what about this one? They're similar, but this one appears to be better. And I would agree with you. This one does appear to be better, right? We have more bedrooms. Okay. Uh, these are each three one as opposed to two ones like the neighbor's house, right? So as far as rents go, Currently, like I said, we're getting more, dude. We're getting five thirty-seven each, so let's bring it in one thousand seventy-four. Currently, twelve eighty-eight. Currently, if you break that down as far as uh, you know, estimated expenses, one thousand seventy-four comes in. You know, we factor in all of our fixed and variable expense estimates as we would normally do. We get an average. An average NOI of 431. And if we break it down, you buy it the same way we were planning on having you buy the neighboring property, right? You spend 44 G's because we we're going to try to target it at 44,000, okay? This one's got higher cap. This is an 11.8 cap, and it would net out to a 33.3% cash on cash return, doing nothing, just picking it up with the under market tenants. And because 
these particular units are three beds, one bath. Uh, you know, we would be bringing in $1,500 a month is our max rent, right? We can rent each of these for $1,500 a month. So everything sounds good. The issue is, I don't know how plausible it is, right? Literally yesterday, we just talked about it, and uh, today it went pending, okay? This means it's pending. That means another buyer's put an offer on the property, and they're not currently accepting other offers, okay? That doesn't mean it's closed, but at the moment, it appears to be unavailable. Now, as far as the rental property game goes, guys, I've been doing this a long time. I've sold over $200 million of this stuff. A lot of these properties go under contract, they come back. They go under contract, they come back. They go under contract, they come back. So this does not mean this is all she wrote, brother. Uh, here's the deal with these properties, right? These properties are being purchased by investors, much like yourself, Kevin, much like everybody else who's out there watching, right? A lot of investors who come in on these really low-cost properties, 49000 like, dude, I don't know about you guys, uh, but I got, um, you know, I, have, I own SUVs that are more expensive than this particular house, right? I would imagine some of you out there watching this particular show, right? You guys probably, you guys might have a kitchen or a pool that is more expensive than this entire house, okay? So a lot of investors that are attracted to these really low-cost houses, in my, uh, you know, my experience is they're usually newer investors, okay? And, uh, you know, if you're investing... And, you know, they're newer investors. They're usually out-of-state folks because, uh, you know, there's more money outside of Ohio than inside of Ohio, right? Um, the pool's bigger, right? So they're usually newer folks who are just getting into the game. Uh, they have some money, so they probably live in some very nice neighborhoods. And they see how cheap it is. They're like, oh, I'll just dip my toe in the water. I'll try this out. I mean, my SUV is more than this particular house. And then they put them under contract. They haven't actually seen the property yet because there's tenants living in there, right? You can't just, uh, you know, just go check it out whenever you want or maybe you're out of state, things of that nature. So they put these things under contract. They're old properties, man. They're like super old. Like this one, this is a 120-year-old property, right? 1900 is when it was built. So all that stuff happens, they put them under contract, and then they get the inspection report, and then it's like a 90-page report, and they're like, holy crap, this is, this is not right, this is not right, this is not right, and they, they freak out, and it comes back on the market, right? So I wouldn't be shocked if this comes back on the market, so I think it's very important for us to look uh, at it. And you're absolutely correct, dude, all things being equal, if I had the choice to buy this one or the one I already showed you, I would buy this one. This one's better, right? Uh, we have more bedrooms, okay? That's awesome. More rent. As far as our mechanicals go, per the listing agent, as what she uh, wrote in here, man, we got some pretty nice big stuff, right? Downstairs hot water tank, only two years old, man. You got to replace those every 15 years. So we got a lot of life left in that. This one, it's only five years old. We got 10 years in the other one. And then the roof, dude, that's like, uh, you know, that's going to be like six, $7,000 roof right there. This roof is only four years old, so we've got 26 years left, right? So the big cost items, man, that's going to affect our CapEx and what you're spending on that stuff. Yeah, this one's definitely the better property, probably why it went under contract immediately. Someone came in and swooped it up. Um, however, again, like I said, though, dude, that does not necessarily mean it's the end of the road. Now, picking it up for our target price of 44 k is it still possible? Maybe. If it comes on the market, I don't think we should try to bid 40. I think we should go right there at our best offer, 44K. And what I like to do in these situations, right, because everybody's got an issue with having, you know, people bothering their tenants, right? Tenants don't want to be fucked with, right? I mean, think about it, dude. Fucking coronavirus is going on right now. I mean, I don't know about you, but I would have an extreme problem with, like, random people walking through my home with my kids, my wife. My wife's pregnant right now. Uh, you know, during this pandemic, if just random strangers uh, were walking through my home, I, I would be irate. I would, I would probably become combative, right? And that happens with our tenants all the time. So what I like to do, break everything down for you as transparent as possible. When these particular properties fall out of contract, because they do quite a bit, I like to reach out to the listing agent. I like to get the inspection report. Because we should always do our due diligence. We should always, always, always trust but verify. We want to get a third-party inspection. But what I do, I reach out to the listing agent. I try to get the inspection report that the previous buyer purchased if it's available. Then I send it to you, and then we can review that. If we have no reason to believe that the inspection report is fraudulent, if it's like an inspector that I'm familiar with, because, you know, Dude, I've sold over $200 million worth of stuff, right? I know a lot of inspectors out here in Cleveland, so if I see the report, 
I know if it's a legitimate report or not usually, right? Um, so we could review that, and then we can submit an as-is, no questions asked offer. And if we do that, say we got the inspection report, if this were to come back in the market, then we could maybe just go with our best offer, 44K. Or maybe, since you know this is so hot, no more people are interested, know it's so much better than the neighboring property, maybe we're willing to come up a little bit higher if it ends up in a multiple offer situation. But, you know, we'll have as much information as we possibly can when we want to make that buying decision so uh, that's all i've got for you today kevin um, great job out of you analyzing the property i sent you and realizing doing some research on your own realizing the one next door uh, was definitely if apples to apples are here was definitely the better property good job out of you uh, but of course you know open market properties other people apparently have uh, realized that as well. So currently it's a waiting game. We'll see what happens with this one. In the meantime, I'll get to work, me and the team. We'll see if we can't find some other properties that are going to fit your criteria. You know, after we reviewed uh, the super risky one, the neighboring one, this one, I got a pretty damn good handle on what you're interested in, what you like. Uh, so in a few days here, we'll get you a third video, and my team will have found some properties that we think are going to fit for you and, and what you want to do. And we can go from there, man. That's why this 10 property package is so uh, smart, right? There's a lot of back and forth, a lot of give take, and, uh, you know, we start out one way, then we make adjustments, then we go back, we go forth. That's how we uh, we work together to really put this thing together for you. So that's what we'll do on this one. Kevin, everybody else, if you're interested in uh, working with us in this one-on-one -on -one experience, go to HoltonWise.com. You click the Property Search for Sale tab. If you just want to scroll through our inventory, if you want to see video tours of the stuff we're selling, click this show, Investment Properties for Sale show, video tours, drone footage, the whole shebang. Also, there's going to be an option for you to subscribe to our mailing list, and we will send the show to you every day at 1 o'clock. But if you want to get, get, you know, sink your teeth in and really work with us one-on-one -on -one like Kevin and is, is really just bounce information back and forth, get our take, uh, send us properties that you think are good. And like when I did with Kevin's first video, I, I saw a property. I'm like, dude, no, do not buy it. That particular property was, I believe, 150 k and it looked good from a cash flow perspective, but in my opinion, the property is really only worth 60, right? So that's what's great about having an unbiased uh, expert on the ground for you, dude. Realtors get paid to sell y'all properties, okay? $150,000 property for a buyer's agent, you know, that's a, like a $4,000 paycheck, right? But Kevin paid me for unbiased advice, and I'm not trying to get that $4,000 paycheck. I'm trying to be like, yo, Kevin, bro, whoa, pause, man, pause, bro, because that would be a $90,000 mistake. If you're looking for someone out there in the Cleveland market to help you grow, build your business, uh, you know, keep you out of bad deals, stuff like that, boom, you want to get this, the 10 property package, work with me 10 times just like we're doing right now. That's all I've got for everybody today, though. Guys, please do me a favor and smash that like button. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys, put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches. FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit fshouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Good day, everyone. It's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio, 
We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. RentTech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With RentTech Direct, you'll also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and RentTech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.